Hey guys, so I finally made it to Dubai. I think it was like 17 hours. So I stopped in Amsterdam and I got lost. Yes, I got lost trying to find my shuttle, but my roommate, <laughs> she helped me. <laughs> she helped me get my life together. So I'm excited about that. So tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow we are riding camels and we're doing a, a desert safari. Mm -hmm. Something else I think they said we're doing. Sand, sand surfing sand surfing yes. i'm not really sure what that is but i mean it's fun and we're in dubai it's about it's 3 38 in the morning so it's like 6 or no it's like 7 30 i think back home in detroit so tomorrow um we're gonna take you guys so well, i'm gonna take you guys <laughs> <laughs> on a tour hopefully if i feel like bringing my heavy camera around but for you guys i'll do it I'll do this so it is March 16th it's 3 30 in the morning and we got to get up in like four hours so this is all I have for today <laughs> for this morning so I'll get back with y'all in a couple of hours you want dress? hmm do I want a dress? no I'm okay no I'm okay <laughs> you can say hi to the camera though <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Me and Ashley just, what is it called? Sand bashing? Yep, we went sand boarding. Sand boarding. That was fun. But like riding the sand thing, that made me, well, made us nauseous. Mm -hmm. It's probably like 10 o'clock in the morning. And we rode the camel, which is very fun. And I bought this. I got sucked into buying this, but it's cute. Yep, it's super cute. Hey y'all, so it is day two of Dubai. Well, technically today was my first day um, experiencing everything in Dubai. So this morning, um, well first let's start off with the time. So right now it is 7.06 p.m. here in Dubai. Um, so this morning we got up at eight o'clock. Um, so we took a ride out into the desert safari. Um, so the first thing we did was this thing called dune sand bashing, which I'll show you pictures and video um through this video or do this vlog um and then that was interesting so it's like you get in this truck and you like ride the sand dunes really fast really slow it's like super super crazy like i got car sick and my roommate got car sick but it was an amazing experience <laughs> Um, we took pictures like in the desert um it wasn't that hot because it was the morning time so it was like 65 70 so if you ever travel to dubai and you want to experience like the desert i would suggest going in the morning time where it's not too hot um the people were really like super super nice um we went i think it's called a uh, sandboarding so you get like basically a board kind of like sledding you get on a board or skiing get on the board and you like slide down the sand hills super fun you have to experience it um we rode a camel i came all the way to dubai to ride this which was about 60 dollars in their money but for our money it's like five dollars so i'm definitely gonna look, wear this tonight feeling super princessy um i bought a scarf uh so oh a head wrap um, that was only five dollars i think it was like forty dollars in their money so i haven't been spending a lot of money um the most i've spent is probably like twenty dollars um and that was like on food um the food here is very different but i'm open to try new things i haven't had anything that i quite like yet but i'll definitely continue to give things a try so tonight is the all white uh affair 
Um, so we'll be mixing and mingling with different people within our workshop. Um, so right now, I am kind of just going over my workshop guideline notes. Tomorrow um, in the evening, I will be speaking on how gratitude helped me with Chrissy Love Media, with the With Love show, My Media Melody, um, things like that, and how gratitude helps um, basically expand your business. So the benefits of gratitude, the benefits of intertwining business and gratitude, being thankful for your team, you hitting your goals, setting specific goals, everything is like is super, in, super in alignment um, the past couple of days. Even like back home, everything has been in alignment. So I'm grateful for that. Um, something I've been saying the past week, um, which a lot of people know is Dear Universe, I'm totally open to something awesome and amazing happening to me today. So thanks everybody for commenting on my pictures and photos. You guys continue to follow me on Snapchat. I appreciate it. And Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. I use all of those. So um, I'll see you guys at the white party. Okay, everybody, so today is day two? Yes, today is day two of the retreat. That's Ashley. <laughs> this is our jam. So we found a song that we like in Dubai. What's it called? It's called Amplifier, I think. I don't know, just look it up or something. And as long as it's in Arabic or something and it's, it's popping. It's by Iman Khan. It's by Iman Khan. So last night we went to our white party. We were able to meet and greet. Hold on, let me turn this this way. My head, my forehead's big. Okay. So we were able to meet and greet with other life coaches. And now today we're going to do our first workshop, which will be fun. Well, first couple of workshops, which will be fun. So I'm going to give you guys a little tour of the hotel. Not this hotel, but um, the hotel we'll be staying at. So stay tuned. We might be powerful, but we ain't the richest. Yeah, it's a very rich country, no? You a very rich country here. No idea. Mm, that's not what Google says. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think this is one of the richest countries? That's not what Google says. <laughs> huh? Our president, he's in mist here, huh? Trump? Yes. Oh, he's not our president. We don't like him. <laughs> we have a Gulf now. He's doing a village and with Gulf Club and oh my God. Mm. Already put it Trump. Oh Gulf no, State. don't do that. Please don't do that. Don't name anything after him. You don't like. You like Obama. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. You like the Obama. Yeah, he's nice. Guy. Yeah. 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 Oh, Mama, Obama. I think the world respects guy. him. The world does not respect Trump. So um, I don't know how Trump won this election. I know how he won. <laughs> he got all of the. Um, it is true the, that the, the poor CIA. The oh, there was some. There was some some tricky stuff going on for sure. And also With Russia. Russia. Yeah, with Russia. Y'all, look at how fancy these feathers are. Fancy. Yeah. Second floor. Doors opening. I went to the gym this morning. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Oh, you I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 yes, everyone. Yes. Hi, Brittany. I got a, I got a vlog. I got a vlog. <laughs> uh, presenting on how to become an influencer in your industry. Um, an influencer to me is someone who is bold um, in what they're saying and what they're doing. Their walk matches their talk and uh, people are following them because of the transparency that they provide into who they are and what they do and what they're all about. So I would love for us to all be influencers in our industry. Now I know who I am. I'm actually telling you who I am every day. So whatever you have to say about me or however you feel about me is cool, right? That's personal, but that's not my story, that's yours. And that's okay. 
Um, so I think introspection and being an expert on yourself first is important before you try to, you know, put your expertise on anyone else. The next is make bold statements. As an influencer, you have to like live your truth. I mean, and be bold about it, like factual. Even if you just thought of it this morning, be bold, make great statements, right? Uh, to me, procrastination is not real. So the theme that I had in mind for the International Business Retreat was disruptive innovation. Mm -hmm. Anybody know what that means? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do something this, new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah to buy stuff right mm -hmm. yeah. if someone wants to click on life coach Brittany sure I'd pop up but mm -hmm. if they were to type on life coach school today unfortunately I did the search I was not the top three my goal every single day you want to be within the top mm -hmm. three roles specific mm -hmm. to the locality that you are serving so we had our morning session for the um, workshops for the international international business retreat in Dubai so I am on at six o'clock. I'll try to get a little bit of footage of my workshop. I am here to talk about um, using gratitude within your business. So being grateful for the goals that you set, for the milestones that you made, for the places that you've been, the connections that you've had, you know, within your business. Um, and a little, I'm about to take a nap because I'm tired, but in a little bit, we'll be going to um, the Mall of Dubai and one of the largest buildings tallest buildings in the world is here in dubai so we're going to check it out it has about 160 um stories it's a little bit scary because i'm short and i'm afraid of heights but you guys stay tuned i'll give you a tour you know into my lane and figure out what i want to do so i'm like if i if i have all this knowledge about motivating myself motivating others then why can't i start a show you know a tv show to motivate people and kind of intertwine both of them together so I started this show called My Media Melody. So it basically gave my insight on, you know, building my own brand, getting into business, and how cutthroat media was for me at the moment. Because I think I was like 23, 24, I'm almost 27 now. And I had it rough um, going into media. Um, I had a mentor, and she basically told me that I would not get very far with doing, um, with being too positive. Basically, she was saying I was too nice. And she was like, "Media, you won't get anywhere with that. Mm -hmm. And so after she told me that, I walked out and I left because I'm like, I know that this stuff is working for me. Like, I'm progressing. And I was like, I don't need this. And so after that is when I started my show. I didn't know who was going to watch my show, what it was going to be about. But I was like, I'm going to just write these shows out. I'm going to have somebody film them. And we're going to go from there. And ever since then, my YouTube, um, doing my YouTube has been a success for me. Um, being able to get invited to like different conferences, even like when I was at college, um, people were asking, can you be a speaker for our little meeting or class tonight? And I'm like, I mean, I guess so. Mm -hmm. It was my first time doing that. I'm like, I can just talk about, you know, what I'm doing with my brand, how I started, why I started. And from that point on, I just began to motivate people and motivate everybody around me. Um, so with that, I started the My Media Melody and that led to the With Love show. So the With Love show is a show um, based around black entrepreneurs um, who basically do all things with love. So my brand is doing all things with love. So entrepreneurs that love what they're doing, they explain why they love what they're doing, their passion behind, you know, building a business, helping people, serving other people. That's the basis behind um, the show. So today I want to kind of talk to you guys about um, why practicing gratitude is so important in your business. So how many people are like huge on gratitude and they wake up and the first thing they say is like, thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, y'all, y'all know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I found in the past three or four years that gratitude has been a key for me in everything. And I learned this um, from reading a book. One of my favorite books is The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. If you haven't read it, I strongly suggest reading it. It really changed my life on a lot of different aspects. Um, so about gratitude so when we practice um gratitude we begin to take us whole take a look at things and say you know what i'm grateful for just being able you know to wake up in the morning like that's an amazing feeling like you literally have to get into a feeling of gratitude place and a right time for everything so even if something is not happening it's not going your way i kind of turn it around to i am so happy and grateful that next month or next week i'm gonna be able to meet with this person this person's gonna email me back and i drop like 
whatever disappointment or annoyance that I have with the situation, I drop it like that because I'm feeling grateful for the progress that I'm making within my business. Thing to do with who I know, it's really all internal. Mm -hmm. And so my spiritual alignment, my peace, my my joy, and and that's when I began to notice, wait, winning is really when you're living at your highest ultimate self. Yes. And it's when you have a holistic balance. Yep. And we're not gonna always be in balance. And so the reason I had you do this worksheet is because there are times we're out of balance. Mm -hmm. There are times we're not in spiritual alignment. Yep. There are times when we don't feel like getting out the bed and putting on makeup and looking cute and showing up at an event. Can y'all imagine like the work and art and skill it took to build like the largest building in the world? I can't even build a box. <laughs> They are stuck and they're defined by what it is that they've gone through in their lives, mm -hmm. the past. They're depressed, right? Mm -hmm. And they can't figure out how to get out. They're in this dark hole, they're in this deep place and they're stuck and they're stagnant and they don't know what to do, okay? Mm -hmm. My response to that, I heard this a long time ago and it, it, it stuck with me ever since. If you don't know what to do, do the last thing God told you to do. I actually think you've already been in the Caribbean, and so I'm going to be thinking somewhere mm -hmm. either Africa mm -hmm. or Japan. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think Paris. Think Paris? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I know you. I don't know. Think Paris. I'm, I'm hoping Africa. Africa. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want Africa. But I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I'll be grateful <laughs> for what I receive. I'm definitely not going to be back. <laughs> for, <laughs> Wakanda forever. <laughs> Oh, oh. You, get out of here! <laughs>